one of the things I didn't, I don't know about you, um, and or I do and I forgot, but are, you're not, are you from Vermont, like, originally? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Like, which, yeah, which generation? I, 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 just real quick, I, I was born in the hospital in Rutland. And then okay. when my parents took me home, they were living in Ludlow, and they were renting an apartment from a 74-year-old woman named Ida Fuller who became in time like my third grandmother. And the interesting thing about her was that she was, um, she was always Miss Fuller. She had never married, very independent old Vermonter type. She had been a teacher and a legal secretary. She'd gone to school with Calvin Coolidge, but the, 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 the frosting on the cake was that she, she was the first person in the United States to collect social security. The first, first, the first person in the, first person, in the whole U.S. In the whole U.S. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Ida Fuller, and um, she, she, um, she was very principled, and I, you know, I, I, I tell this story because she kind of formed my opinion of what a what a Vermonter is really like, because she was kind of a independent single woman, no children, no husband. Um, living alone except for the apartment that supplemented the social security income and she she um she do you remember maybe you're not old enough to remember that there was this tv show called i've got a secret with this guy named gary moore and the the whole purpose of the show was that people would go on with secrets and there'd be a panel of people who would try to guess what the secret was it was kind of fun but they tried to get her to go on the show. And, and I, I could follow this because she did not have a telephone and we did. So this whole thing was conducted on our telephone. And they, she had agreed to go on the show and with her secret being that she was the first person to ever collect so, social security. And then she found out that it was, the show was, was sponsored by a cigarette company, a tobacco company. Oh. And she said, nope, don't want to have anything to do with that. Wow. <laughs> she didn't do it. She didn't do it because she didn't wow. believe in tobacco. That is a very Vermont thing, actually. <laughs> oh, God, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. We uh, we fight big companies coming in, and um, it's very, yeah. yeah really. She was, she was right. I mean, the history yeah. has shown that she was exactly right about that. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah, that's a tough one. I'm not sure how good I would be at that uh, if I had. I mean, I mean, it depends on how how much I believed in whatever. I mean, I still don't shop at Walmart. Um, oh, well, I don't. I don't either. I haven't set foot in Walmart in years. Yeah, me either. I, they're they're terrible. Um, yeah. But I do Amazon. So what's? <laughs> yeah. Kind of a hypocrite there. <laughs> Sorry, Rena. What? Uh, yeah, it's. I said I haven't either, but we. It's funny that Walmart came up <laughs> again. This is the second time. Yeah, well, talked about not shopping at Walmart. If you start talking about menacing things, Walmart comes up eventually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we don't know half the evils of the marketplace. Walmart's a good title, but it certainly doesn't end there. <laughs>